Today we're going to have a look at the Alco ATC. I'm going to explain what the different lights mean on there and also a few hints and tips on it and also if you've not got the Alco ATC how you can have it fitted to your caravan. So what is the Alco ATC? So it's the Alco trailer control which is basically a little box a little electric box on there that will sense whether there's any movement on the on the caravan in sway and then it'll apply the brakes on the caravan uh, it works through the 13 pin socket and it can work on the two seven pins also so if it's an older caravan and you've got two seven pins as long as you've got the gray side of the seven pin or the 13 pin wired that will give the power to the atc so your black set of wiring your single seven pin that will do all the lights on the caravan and the secondary side the gray the seven the, the secondary seven pin side on that that will be what is actually controlling the atc so if you've got a vehicle and it's got the 13 pin plug on there you might find that it's only got seven pins wired instead of all 13 pins so just double check that um, that as I say is what is going to give that the power and basically when, when it feels that the caravan is swaying it will put the brakes on the caravan either side and just pull the caravan back into line if you're going along and you've got the ATC and to be fair even if you haven't and you feel that there's a bit of a sway starting if you've got the ATC it should just pretty much bring the caravan back into line but if you, feel, if you can really feel that there's a sway on there just release off the accelerator and let the ATC do its job if you haven't got the ATC again just release off the accelerator and just let it come back down to a calm stop but the Alco ATC will stop an awful lot of any swaying anything like that um, and again a lot of the time you won't even notice that the ATC is doing anything you'll just feel a bit of a, a pull on the on the caravan and that will be what the ATC is doing and just making sure that the caravan is in check it is, it is a system that can be fitted retrofit so you can have it fitted onto your caravan if you've not got the ATC there's a couple of companies out there so if you do a, a Google search uh, and you should be able to find those companies that are out there it's normally about five seven hundred pounds now when you put the ATC system on um, I've got a little test box here and I'm just going to put it on and you should hear the noise of the ATC actually kick in so on our little test box on the pop our power on and then put our ATC light on and then underneath you should hear the noise and then we should also get a little light flashing on our actual ATC panel now the the first indication that the ATC is doing what it should be doing is is that noise basically it's engaging disengaging and just checking the system making sure that it's doing what it should be doing it then sends the signal to our little LED here just to let us know what the status of the ATC is actually in now if you've got an ATC and it's making that noise but your little light isn't coming on there is a chance that the little LED within that bulb has gone and you can get replacement LEDs and they literally just come with a little wire it's just the two screws on the side here there's a little locking nut at the bottom and then if you follow the wire through you'll see where the connector is and you can then just connect the new LED in put it back in and when you power that back up that should fix and get your LED working onto the lights then so you'll notice at the moment that we've got a flashing green so we get two colors basically um, we get a green and a red if we've got green whether it's flashing or a solid green that is absolutely perfectly fine the flashing green is basically saying that we're just waiting for something to happen it's just waiting um, for the car to either move forwards or just something to happen it's it's that the system is engaged it's ready to use um, but it's just waiting to to actually activate properly so as soon as you start pulling the car forward pull it forward sort of 10 feet have a look at it again and it will be a solid green and the solid green is basically saying that we're active and we're in a state ready to use so flashing green perfectly normal just waiting for something to happen and then it will turn into the solid green which will say that it is actually working now we move on to the red lights which um, not all red lights 
are, are awful um, but again we get a flashing red and we get a solid red now if we get a solid red on there it is basically telling us that the ATC is inactive and um, we've got an issue uh, and for some reason the ATC isn't doing what it should be doing or it's not going to do what it should be doing if we do get a solid red we can then disconnect the 13 pin electric so literally just disconnect it from your car give it 30 seconds and then reconnect it back in again and that should hopefully get the system back using and it should then go back through the same process and hopefully turn green if you do that a couple of times and it just stays solid red then there is just an issue in there um, and it's just basically we're okay to travel but the ATC isn't going to be operating um, so solid red we can still travel with that light on but it just means that the ATC is then inactive and we need to have it looked at if we get a flashing red then that is a different story uh, a flashing red is basically saying that there is a fault on there and we cannot travel with that atc um, again we can do the same we can disconnect it a few times try, try and see whether we can get it back into a operational state and um, if it stays as a flashing red light then we've got to really disconnect the atc before we can travel we have got a little leaflet that we can put up now uh, in the video that will just show you how to actually disconnect that ATC. Um, you really tro probably better trying to get an engineer to come and have a, a look at it and disconnect it or actually see whether they can find out what the issue is. Um, but if that has happened and you've gone away on your holidays and then you're stuck somewhere and you've got that flashing red, the only way really is to have it disconnected and then have it looked at once you've sort of back and, and home and get it into the local workshop. It is rare that we get issues with that ATC, um, but again, it can sometimes just happen. We, I think we've had one um, in all the time of, the, of using the ATC where we've actually had a, a real issue. So it is, it is very rare, but it can happen. Hopefully that has just explained what the different colours are, what they mean. Um, and then again, if you're looking at the ATC and thinking about having that fitted, um, what it is going to do and what it's going to help you with. Thanks, I'm Mark at the Caravan Place.